Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I created a look using only Revolutions products. I did a kind of not natural but not too dramatic look. You'll see me go through like a makeup crisis identity along the way where I change it up so much. So we're gonna go ahead and just call this aesthetic ethereal don't even know what else to call it. Um, all of the products were found at Ulta Beauty, by the way, if you guys are wondering. If you want to create a look similar to this, continue watching. So the first product I'm going to be using is a product I've been using for the past couple months or so. It is the Glass Skin Primer. This has been, hands down, one of my favorite primers I've discovered, which is what made me want to do this video where we use just Revolutions items. And while the primer sets in, I'm going to go ahead and get started with my eyebrows. I am using the Laminate Brow in the shade Dark Brown. So besides the primer, all of these items are new to me. I'm very excited to see how these work. This one looked really interesting. So the first step would be using the side with the blade detail tip to define and fill in your eyebrows. Then step two is the precision brush that has the gel. So it should be a fluff up and set in the step two using this side. I do like that these items are like included together on one brush because I am always like having to pack an eyebrow pencil and then also a brown mascara to keep my eyebrows in place. So I really like this. This is very handy. Now that the primer is set in, I'm going to be going in with the foundation I'm using for this video. I don't really like using foundations, so I picked up their Super Dewy Skin Tint. It is a tinted moisturizer in the shade Medium. Um, it's a lightweight tinted moisturizer that gives the skin a radiant dewy finish, and it's also enriched with wild berry extract. So I'm really excited to try this, especially matching it up with the Glass Skin Primer. And the setting spray I have for it too is going to give us that dewy look as well. So this is one side with the tinted moisturizer versus the other side. I wasn't looking for like a big huge difference really because it is a tinted moisturizer and not like a full coverage foundation but it still has a very beautiful look to it like kind of a blurring effect and then because I wanted to keep this kind of like a natural glowy everyday kind of look I mean I do want to go a little bit crazy on the eyes because the palette I got has really pretty colors I didn't pick up any powder or contour or blush or anything like that we might just go with an everyday look today because I do want to go and get everything else so i guess let's go ahead and get started on the eyes so the palette i picked up is the ultraviolet reflective palette oh my god you guys can see my little light it's a heart um the shades in this are beautiful like i'm obsessed with this blue that's really what i want to use but i think we're gonna go maybe i've already done a lot of pink so maybe we should do a blue but the yellow is also really pretty so I'm just gonna wing it and see how I feel. I'm gonna start by setting my eyelid with the shade Sandy. The next shade I'm gonna grab is the shade Paradise. I'm using an angled brush because I'm gonna be using it on the end of the eyes. I'm gonna start from the bottom and just create a little wing going up. And then using a fluffy brush, I'm going to grab the shade Haven. Sorry, I can't read. But yes, this little light pink shade, I'm gonna be putting it over the purple a little bit so over the crease for the eyelid over here on the end i'm going to be grabbing the shade next to it lush and just pricking that in i'm gonna be going in with the light yellow shade that i'm obsessed with serene i'm gonna be going on that at the beginning of my eyelid then I'm gonna go back and grab the Lush shade to connect my under eyes right there. Then another fluffy blush, I'm gonna grab Paradise and go in a little bit underneath that just to blend it a little bit and so it's not too harsh on my under eyes. Just to buff it out a little bit. And then I'm actually going to bring the Paradise shade still to the beginning of my under eye too. 
Then to finish off the eye coloring, I have this eye glisten stick, also by Revolution. It has two really nice shades that I'm really excited to use. I actually like swatched it on my hand and they last for a very long time. So I'm gonna be adding this creamier, light pinkish shade to the inner corners. going to be taking like the chunkier pink glitter side and I'm gonna be following like if I was looking straight ahead I'm gonna put it under my eye and then also above it I'm gonna go ahead and get started on the eyeliner I have the intense black felt eyeliner the Renaissance flick it comes in this cute package so pretty though this is really pretty packaging it makes it feel like really fancy how does it open I kind of want to try a downward kind of eyeliner for the first time. I've been seeing it on TikTok. It looks really good on people, so I want to see if it looks good on me. If it doesn't, then, you know, we're just sad. So I did more of an outside eyeliner instead, and I added this little downward flick. I think it's cute. And then to finish off the eyes, I also picked up a mascara. It is a Lift and Define 5D Lash. Extra Dimension Mascara. This is the packaging. It says it's five star length, five star lift, five star divine, five star stretch, and five star volume. So let's see how well this goes. This is the mascara. Oh, this is cute. I really, I'm just obsessed with their packaging. Like companies that have good packaging are just good companies in general, you know? Okay, I'm gonna curl my eyelashes first because mine are straight and it's just sad. Okay, so here's one eye with the mascara versus without. Even from far away, there's definitely a difference. And here is the mascara on the eyelashes. I really do enjoy this mascara. It wasn't heavy at all. I'm obsessed with it. Actually, it looks like it made my eyelashes like stand up more than they usually do, especially since they're straight, so they don't stand, and it's just annoying. But we're gonna move on to the lips. I picked up two lip products. The first one is the Velvet Kiss Lip Crayon, and I have it in the shade Ruby. So here are the lips. It has a very cushiony feel. This is obviously something I look for when I'm into lipsticks. It's, it's soft, it doesn't feel rough or anything like that. I hate that. And then the next lip product I have, I saw and I was like, do I want to try it? Do I not? Technically, I've already tried this outside of the video. I just couldn't wait. So I tried it on it in the car. But it is their Pelt Bomb Maxi Plump Plumping Lip Gloss with Vitamin E. Eventually, I do think that this lip gloss is going to turn pink though because I accidentally used it on top of the lipstick. Not accidentally, I asked myself if I wanted to and then I did it anyway, so. I also picked up their Fix and Glow Dewy Finish with Shimmer Particles Setting Spray. So this is what the bottle looks like and there's uh, shiny stuff at the bottom so it always says to shake before you use it. I picked this up because um, I didn't pick up like any of the powder, or contour, blush, or highlights so I figured that this would give us a more natural highlight for the look we were going for today. It wasn't really like we were going for the look though, I think we just kind of made this up on the way and by we I mean me, but it's whatever. So here is the final look of my first time using all of Revolution's brands, just full face Revolution, nothing else. I think all of these products were amazing. I can't wait to collect more. I can't wait to do the full like glam face. So I'm gonna go pick up the contour, the highlight, the blush, the actual full coverage foundation, maybe even a new palette or two. If there's a color scheme you guys wanna see using Revolution's products, definitely let me know because I'd be so down to film more of these. Let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.